So the question is, is the mine lab go find any good? I've had three of these now. The first one I took to the beach and used in the ocean and it started faulting straight away. Upon complaining, they said, although it's okay to use in water, not salty water as a salt reflects the signals and gives false signals. I returned the first one and ended up buying two others on sale at Anaconda. They cost me like $170 each, it was cheap as chips. So are they any good? Well, let's start with how they unfold. The back slides up, the handle just clips up, the coil folds down. This is just on a spring and then there's a tab under here to extend it. That's it. So the question is, can you find anything with this? And the answer is simply yes. I've found tons and tons of stuff, heaps of coins, heaps of lead, heaps of aluminium, looking through a lot of coastlines, a lot of beaches and a lot of parks. So what's the big difference between this and a $2,000 unit? The $2,000 unit will likely have a slightly better range in depth. It'll find metallic objects deeper in the ground. And the $2,000 unit will also give you a notable sound as per what it is reflecting. So if you hit aluminium, it should give you a specific sound. If you hit a dense metal, if you hit a light metal, it should give you different pitches. With this, you get one sound. If it hits anything, it, you get a sound. To me, that's okay because I hit a sound, I dig it up, I have a look, I see what it is. I find that interesting. I'm not out there to make money. I'm out there to dig up random artifacts. If I could find an old coin or an old key, anything like that, that'd make my day. If you are in this for money, I would definitely go out and buy the more expensive unit because you'll get a lot more clarity on what you're finding and you'll be able to use it in the water. Is there a big difference between the Mine Lab 22, 44, 66? All I've heard is there's big issues with all the Bluetooth and you're not really paying for much else. You're getting a bigger coil, but honestly, save your money, go for the cheaper the cheap, you won't regret it. And get it from a local store that you have a warranty and you have a physical place to return it to. Or if you buy it online, make sure you go through PayPal. So if you think that, oh, I've got my mind lab, I'm set, the answer is no. Do not go out there with just this. You will have a nightmare of a time. Going out there with just this, which is my initial thought, big mistake. This will find you an item within a 50 centimeter round circle. That's a lot of stuff to dig through if you're looking for a tiny, tiny coin. When I was up in the Wheat Sundays, a lot of things I found were tiny, tiny pieces of lead. Something about quarter of the size of your pinky fingernail. So what you need from there is one of these ones. This one, I think, costs 50 bucks. You can get them relatively cheap online. This is not so sensitive, a bit more accurate, so it will only beep when you're within 100 mil. So before you go out thinking you're going to use this, go down to JCAR and buy one of these. From there, if you're going down the beach to look, you need a shovel. If you go on eBay, these things cost an arm and a leg. You need to get one that's non-metallic so it doesn't interrupt with your signal when you're digging. What I ended up doing was going down to Bunnings, buying a $3 spade and drilling 10 mil holes out of it. Works perfectly. Save your money. If you're not digging in sand, if you're digging in harder stuff, you can use a shovel if it's semi-soft, but for me, what I've been finding is the soil is so hard that I literally bought a little pickaxe. Cost me $10 from the hardware store. All I do is use a flat side, hit down and scrape back. Way easier than using a shovel in hard ground. And so the sound that you'll be looking for, it gives you this sound if you're right on top of something. If you're hitting a coin that's a bit further away, it's just a beep. When you're trying to pinpoint something, start with the one crossing. When you find your beep, find the center of the beep. Rotate 90 degrees, sweep again. Find the center of that. That's gonna be your best spot to start digging. With the one, fool's mistake. Don't wear rings. You have some dirt in your hand and you're trying to find metal in the dirt and it's pinging your ring and you sort through a fistful of dirt before you realize it's your ring. So I'm gonna do a little foraging along the yard behind me. Okay, well, I've got my first real reading here. Picking up a whole lot of beeps, but you gotta keep in mind with these old places, there's all these metal pipes in the ground. So if you pick up something that's seems to be more than 20 centimeters long, it's pretty safe to just ignore it. The only ones you want to go for are the small little pings. That's going to be a coin or a ring or something hopefully interesting. Most of the time it's lead or aluminium that they seem to just throw into the paddocks and onto the grass back in the day. But now I've got my wand here, turn it on. So just to give you an idea of how I did this, I got the pick down the line, down the line, down the line. Then I grab it from here and I shave, shave, and just keep shaving. That way you can make a plug that'll end up going down. So if I get my wand, getting a definite reading, this one doesn't beep, it's just got a vibration and a red light. What I try and do is pull everything one direction. That way if I lose the signal, I just go to the pile that I've made and look for it there. So for instance, right now, I've lost the signal. But if I go over to the pile I just made, it's in that pile. So it might be something very small, I'm guessing. All right, something in here. There you go. Looks to me like a piece of piece of raw steel. Could have been something that got chewed up by a lawnmower. That was about 50 mil down. Goes to show you that the mine lab go find isn't that bad. It picks that up, but it's impossible to do it without a wand. If you can imagine a 50 centimeter hole, you know it's within that because your mine lab found it, but you're looking for this. It's impossible. Do yourself a favor and pick one up. So I just had a ping here. I'll just go wash it off. Not the slightest clue what that's from. But this is the majority of what you'll be picking up. If you think you're going to be picking up jewels the whole time, think again. This will be 99% of what you find. So if you're not patient, this isn't the hobby for you. Ah, 
seem to have pulled it out. It's in here. Have to take a stab, I'd say it's a chunk of lead. Till next time. If you have any other questions, put them in the comment section and I'll try and make another video. And don't forget to like and subscribe.